well and had a great day. Um, we are the co-founders of 315 Delivery. I'm just going to start off by naming each of us. I'm Fatma, this is Moravia, Lorena, Mia, and Max. So today we're just going to speak to you about how we came to the current logo we have right now and how it has evolved. We are your assistance when it comes to delivery. 315 Delivery, where no food has gone before. I'm now going to switch it off to Moravia. She's going to speak about the background. OK, so 315 Delivery is an online delivery service, kind of like Grubhub.com, but we're better than them. <laughs> um, what you do is customers go online, they order their food, and we're most famous for our range system, where we deliver for restaurants that don't deliver past a certain point um, in the 315 area. Um, our target customers are college students because college students love to eat and order food a lot and anybody living in the 315 area code, hence 315 delivery. So now I'm going to, now we're going to start off on our initial logo designs and Lorena is going to start. Okay, so when we first drew this, um, we, start, we started to think about um, let's pig out, hence the pig, and then the platter is basically the symbolism of catering to the customer. Then also the path, as you can see, the little piggy is the one making its own path. It symbolizes 315 making its own path and not following previous um, paths that other companies have taken. But it was too much information for the customer to digest, so we decided to go and reinvent it again. So Fatima will go and explain initial logo number two for you. Okay. So um, this second logo is very plain and simple. There's no coloring. It's not as great as the pig. However, it does um, grab the concept of 315 delivery. So it just states some of the places that we deliver for, such as Chinese food stores, pizza stores, just excuse me, such as Domino's, um, Chipotle, and Jimmy John's. I'm now going to pass it off to <laughs> yeah, so. I'm sorry, to Max, so he can speak about his logo. Thanks, Fatma. So I really took Fatma's design. Um, I thought the food in the logo was a great idea because it really shows what we're delivering, what we're all about. And I also thought it was very important because our business is very cyclical. It, you know, we start with um, a restaurant, we get the food, we deliver it, and then we start all over again. I also wanted to use a familiar symbol, so I chose something um, similar to the recycling sign, and that's how our logo, uh, my logo, culminated. So I'm going to pass it off. Okay. So we wanted to go back to the idea of the platter because we're serving the customer, um, and we also have the car again and the food on top of the car, and the car is going in the direction of the customer because that's like where it's ultimately going to end up. So but that, then it evolved into what Nia is going to speak about. Um, so we decided to keep the car and platter idea, but instead of the car being inside the platter, we put it on top and have 315 delivery painted on the side. And now Matt is going to, Max is going to talk about our final design. So what we did as a team, we took our individual ideas, we worked with each other to modify our own designs, and I now present you our final logo. We really um, took the craft principles and tried to apply them not only in our logo, but also in our PowerPoint presentation. So you can see the contrast. Everything really pops on this, this logo and PowerPoint. We chose a black background, um, with the blue, not only because it's similar colors that we're familiar with because of SU, but because everything contrasts well with it. Not only does the black contrast with the blue background of the logo, but it also contrasts with the orange car. Um, as for um, repetition, we really focused on our repetition in our PowerPoint um, slides. Our first two slides had a back background, and then to match our initial logos, we um, transitioned to a white background. And then for the final two, we went back to the black because that's what made it pop the most. As for alignment, true, the um, delivery is center aligned, but we chose to spice it up a little bit and we uh, put it in an arc. 
We also didn't align the logos in the top of the car in any manner. It's, it um, signifies less about the actual company and more about where um, a food service company um, as a whole. Um, and as for positioning, we put it right in the center to make it really pop. Thank you for your time. Do we have any questions? Sure. You guys delivered Jimmy John's South Campus? Yes. Yes, yes. That's, that's a part of, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> sorry. That's, um, go ahead. <laughs> okay. Sorry, that was really awkward. Um, that's a part of our range system, which we're so famous for. Since Jimmy John's doesn't deliver to South Campus, that's where we come in. Um, Jimmy John's calls us up and we get the food from them, deliver it to you, and that's part of our rain system. And we also deliver from like other restaurants not featured here, like McDonald's, because everybody's craving McDonald's around here. KFC, Popeyes, anything you want, we got it. <laughs> yeah. That's uh, one of the great things about our business is we don't have to have a central location because we're all about delivery. So no one comes into our store to order. Um, they call us off or go on our website, place the order, and then we get the food to them. How much more do you guys charge? Um... So we work with the companies for individual pricing. Some um, companies choose to absorb the cost in the order because we open up their company to more um, customers. Um, so that's worked out on an uh, individual contract uh, basis with the restaurant. More questions? Yeah. Um, thank you.